So this is the first gaming ultrabook and yeah i think i'll give it that i've reviewed 13 inch gaming laptops like the now terminated alienware 13 but this is definitely the first gaming ultrabook with what i would call full gaming spec like with the option of a proper gtx 1650 max q now we'll get onto gaming later but this video is about content creation given that it has the gaming specs would this laptop be great for a mobile workstation a super light and portable 13 inch laptop can you edit 4k and 6k footage well let's find out so tell the old day champs now if you guys are new around here come on sub up join the wheel train hit that bell dingling and dong and i'll appreciate a like if you like this video and if you're having a bad day leave a dislike it's a free world now you can get sort of like three models of this you can get a mercury white one a gtx full hd model and a gtx 4k model now the model i have is like the fully decked out one so we have 4k display and it is a gorgeous 4k touch display it really is quite stunning the processor inside is the Intel 10th generation Ice Lake CPU, the i7-1065G7 processor. So what you need to know, it's a quad core 10th generation, 10 nanometer part. So it is Intel's latest processors and you also get Iris Plus graphics. But this also has a GTX 1650 Max-Q. Now it's four gigabytes of video memory there and up to 16 gigabytes of LPDDR4 at 3733 megahertz. So that's super fast memory. So that's pretty good specs. I mean, it's like a 15 inch of a few years ago. You know, having a quad core and a 1650. My first XPS 15 was a quad core and I had a, a M962 gigabyte of memory this would beat that maybe not on the cpu side but you know this is how far we've come you've got a 13 inch ultra portable device that has the performance of like a 15 inch of a few years ago now the display is awesome i don't know if 4k is necessary on such a small screen but it is a great display 100 srgb i measured just about 90 just about 350 nits now i already know how this performs but i want you to comment down there do you reckon this could edit 4K? Like be able to play back 4K with like a LUT applied Lumetri color? Do you reckon it could edit 6K or even play back 6K? Let me know down there in the comments right now. Now, just one other thing, it does have Thunderbolt 3, but it's only on the right hand side. They should have put Thunderbolt 3 on the left as well because this is a nice like CPU. They could have put Thunderbolt on both sides and there's no need for a discrete controller. So I don't know why they didn't do that, but you have USB-C on the left hand side as well. And you also have two USB type A's. So no SD card reader. So let's find out how good it will be for video editing. Woof. So we are in Premiere Pro. Full, full. What are we at? Um... Can we play 4K footage with uh, color correction or whatever, LUT applied? Can we play that back at full? So this is 4K. Now, Ultrabooks struggle to do this. There are some, like the Ice Lakes, can do it. Um, there are some other ones that can do it as well. But when you're playing back, what? Full with color correction. Now, the other Ultrabooks can only play it back without color correction. This has the LUT applied, and I'll show you that. And it played it at full. Wolf. Look at that. Look at that. I'll show you the... There. Look, see? Flat. Wow. It could do it at full and with the color correction and light applied. Now, no other Ultrabook has done that. They can play back 4K footage without the LUT, but with the LUT, no chance. Now, that means you can edit 4K footage. I wouldn't recommend these as the best sort of things 15 inches are better for 4k and that sort of thing but this one's all right and i'll show you the render times later yeah they're actually quite good and quite competitive and and quite akin to say like a 15 inch of a couple of years ago the render time so yeah this thing is a little powerhouse all right so i'm in here now this is just nuts this is actually hdr footage uh yeah no nah, we're not going to be playing back that at 6k come on no chance. Come on. You're joking. Oh, yes. I am joking. Yes. No chance there. Oh. What happened there? Oh, okay. So, yeah. That's not happening. HDR, forget about it. Let's turn off the HDR. Uh, let me tell you something about HDR. Uh, it's not recommended. The render times are friggin' horrendous. I've been playing around with it, and yeah, the render times are just nuts. 
Forget about it. All right, so this has color correction applied. Do I have something without color correction? Let's play back that, and you can see we're struggling to play that back at full. This is with a LUT applied, and this is 6K footage, okay? This is out of a S1H. So this is 6K, H.265, 200 megabits per second. Let's see if we can play it at half. Will it play back 6K footage at half? No. Now, let's try it without the LUT. Let's grab this footage, and that is indeed 6K. I've uh, got a properties. Boom, yep, 6K. There we go, 24 frames per second, 6K. So nothing has been done with this footage. And we'll see if I can play back 6K at full. No color correction, nothing else applied. Let's just do it. Can we do it? What? Wolf. And it just gone and done it. 6K on an Ultrabook. What? Wow. Wow. Is that for real? Is that for real? All right. So let's try that again. Are we really getting 6K playback? Oh. What the hell? 6K on an Ultrabook. Are you joking? What's the scrubby scrubby like? Um, seems fine. This is 6K. 6K. What the? F wow. This thing is really a powerhouse. I'm really impressed with that. So anyway, yeah, that's good. I thought it would be a struggle to do 4K. I can recommend this for 4K editing on the go if, if you need to do it. And, yeah, you saw that, 6K playing back. All right, so, yeah, I'll wrap it up there. I'm quite amazed at the performance of such a small, light, portable package. I mean, you could take this on the road. You can get it done. I wouldn't say it would be my favourite laptop for editing 6K footage or even 4K but as a portable workstation, it is a powerhouse. And for doing stuff on the go when you want to be really mobile, this will perform better than my 9550, my XPS 15 from 2015, which is a much bigger laptop. So yeah, really good. Stay tuned for my other videos on this. Catch you in the next one. Tally ho.